I discovered Marianne as a, a, as a consequence of having to do a bit of research here. And um, you know, th this lady is a, a, a biochemist by training, no? Well, m my first degree, yes, is biochemistry, zoology, right. and my master is environmental management. Environmental so, management, yeah. and you actually worked in the energy sector. Yes, I did yeah. for two decades. So I actually- For two what? Two decades. Two decades, so 20 years, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I actually, my story is that I actually transitioned from academia because back in, in undergrad, postgrad times, I was, headed for a uh, life in academia with the intention, of, well, focusing on conservation. And um, wanting, I was also a member of the UE Biological Society at that time. And of course, when you're 21 years old, you were here to change the world, right? And um, I got the opportunity to go into the energy industry. Actually, um, the first project I worked on was to develop an ecotourism proposal to rehabilitate the camps in, um, in Petra Trent. So Guayaguari Beach Camp, okay. um, uh, Clifton Hill uh, Forest Reserve. But unfortunately, at the time, um, it was denied the funding um, when we presented. Because unfortunately. the focus needed to be on um, oil and gas. Right, and not necessarily diversifying portfolios at that point in time. But it started my journey in health, safety, and the environment, um, and my specialization in emergency response, oil spill preparedness and response. So a very fascinating journey, um, because of course, generally when we see on media on, on oil spills, we tend to focus on the negative stuff and not the positive things that can come out of it in terms of the training, in terms of the experience, in terms of the ability to change scenarios and make it better. So did that for two decades, was having a blast, but then as part of who I am, I tend to transition again and then the focus, I love to travel and I've been fortunate to be able to go to different countries and experience different cultures and volunteer there as well on farms, <laughs> right? Um, restoring old castles, yeah. so I have that um, that Rege feel. sense of regeneration. Yes, so, yeah. and also to that sense of connection and why it is important for us to connect and then in meeting all the people that I have met around the world, what I learned was that the international traveler wants to give back. When they come to a place, they want to know that their funds are being directly invested into the communities that they live, that they visit. So with that in mind, that is how I set up Three Circles Energy with the focus on the sustainable development goals. So the equal opportunities for all. So each of the communities that we have visited in Trinidad and Tobago, the, the members that we interact with directly benefit from our events. So whether it be food, accommodation, the tour guiding, the security, um, the arts and craft as well, because this bracelet here, this is made by rejected bottles. This is glass, okay. yeah? So we collect the glass as part of um, one of the groups, the community groups that grew out of Nature Seekers. They collect the glass from um, our beach cleanups, mm. as well as you know the bars that have all these alcohol <laughs> um, <laughs> bottles empty, mm. right? And jewelry is made from it. And so all that recycling of it or repurposing is done here. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's done mm -hmm. here. Um, so the, and this is a great way of using resources, and mm -hmm. I think we'll all <laughs> agree on yeah, that. Absolutely. And it, a way of sustaining them as well, helping helping the the women in the community of Matura to mm -hmm. actually have an income, so that they could look after their kids and even start their own kitchen gardens and you know do do a lot more things that that would not necessarily have been possible. And that is what we're trying to do with Three Circles Energy is effectively build a like-minded tribe, people who are interested in learning more about the world around us and also to interested in giving back. So you talk about volun volunteerism, uh, well, volunteering and how important it is and the sense of satisfaction that you feel. So in helping these people, um, so this weekend we, uh, we will be commemorating International Coastal Cleanup Day. So again, we have a group heading up to Matura to help clean the beaches and there are a lot more projects that will be coming out over the next couple of years. Again, in terms of using the resources to help 
the the quality of life of those that live of the in, communities. Coast, yeah, yeah. in coastal areas. And similarly, the work that we are doing with the Tobago Heritage Conservation Society and the Angelo B. Singh Virtual Museum, again, bringing our story to people, helping to, in, to, in, to, uh, to encourage them to get excited about our historical buildings and grave sites and you know, um, farmlands that were used back in the day and do something to keep it, to protect it. That's what we want people to do because if we don't understand what we have in this country, how can we then take steps to protect it if you don't know what you have? So this is one of the ways of filling that, that gap and getting people excited about doing things. So last weekend we were in Tobago running through Sugar Mills and looking at um, grave sites and the churches and, and learning more about the history. And in addition to that, we also had the opportunity to do things like bioluminescence tours where you get into the water and you glow like mm -hmm. Avatar. Mm -hmm. Which and we have that here, you yeah. know, and how many people actually get to experience that here. And then of course the beaches and coral and we learn more about what is being done to help coral regeneration around Tobago especially. Um, and this of course is working with other NGOs who are involved directly involved in the science part of it. But because of my network <laughs> with the science as well as, as the communities, it, it helps me to, to bring that story across to more people. Well, this, this, this is just fascinating stuff and it, we're going to go to a break and it's going to be a good cue to come back to you, yeah. Maria, because we're talking about documenting, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the stories, telling mm -hmm. our stories, mm -hmm. documenting the stories, putting it out there and actually helping it to fertilize the, the memory, the value of memory and of course going forward. This is 16 plus 60 plus and I remind the viewers that I'm on the... <laughs> What side? The right side of it, not the left side. We'll be back in a jiffy. Please stay with us.